Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to show custom error message when web view fails to load in Sketchware. So here in this project I have a web view 1 and I have an edit text 1 and text view 1. So these te text view 1 and edit text 1 are inside linear 2 and this web view is inside linear 3. I have created a custom view to show the custom error message. This contains this linear 1, then it has this text view 1, text view 2 and text view 3 and text view 4. I do not need this text view 4. In text view 2, I will display the error message and this is the error message which I have written. Check your internet connection and all. So let's go to the coding part. In on create event for web view, I set cache mode to load cache else network. Then I load URL google.co.in and on back pressed if web view can go back, web view go back else finish activity. Now when text view 1 is clicked, this is the go button when it is clicked, I load URL edit text 1 get text now we have these two events web view on page started and web view on page finished so both these are part of web view client for web view 1 we have set the sketch has already set a web view client i'll show the source code here you can see that web view 1 dot set web web view client new web view client and this has three methods this has two methods on page started and on page finished now to this web view client i have added another method on received error with uh, these variables web view param1 web resource request request and web resource error error so i will show you how i did this after this Inside this web view one on page finished, I first closed the on page finished event. Then after this, I wrote at override public void on received error web view underscore param one comma web resource request request comma web resource error error. Now inside this means inside on received error method I defined a new view called custom is equal to get layout inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot custom comma null so this is the custom view which I have created and I define it as a view called custom after that I define a text view called custom text view 2 and this is custom dot find view by id r dot id dot text view 2 means this is the text view 2 in custom dot xml and that i defined as custom underscore text view 2 now for this text view 2 for this custom underscore text view 2 i set the text as error dot get description dot to string so this means from this error I get the description and then I convert it to string and display it in custom text view 2 custom text view 2 error dot get description or to string after that from linear 3 I remove all views and to linear 3 I add this custom this is the same custom which I defined here so this view I add to linear 3 after that I define a string underscore param2 equal to null that is required because there is this extra code super dot on page finished underscore param1 underscore param2 so to define this param2 I have defined string underscore param2 is equal to null now here web view 1 on page started I set the text of edit text 1 to URL and from linear 3 I remove all views and then I add the web view 1 to linear 3 that's all in coding part now let's check this
So, at present the internet is working when I switch this off and click on the go button it will show the custom error message and when I switch it on then again click on this go button it will load the page so that's all it works I hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this